Hey what's up guys, it's Jerome here. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial of how to record uh, your gameplays from your Xbox 360, your, your PS3, your Wii, whatever you guys have. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do commentaries too, what software do I use uh, to edit, to record my voice. Um, so I'm just going to say the equipment you guys need, uh, if you guys want to be making good quality videos, I would suggest you guys getting the HTTP, uh, the HTTP VR Hub Pog. Um, YouTube it, it's, a, it's like a square box uh, which connects your component, your video component cables from your Xbox 360 in the ends and it goes out to your uh, TV and it's USB to your computer, your Mac, it works with both uh, systems um, so it goes USB um, and it takes the memory from your hard drive from your computer and um, it records in perfect quality 720p, 10, 1080p if you want it records in really good quality so and this is a software which you have to buy separately um, I believe it's around $79 it's ITV which uh, is uh, is compatible with the HD PVR Hapog. Well, this is on the Mac version. So right here, I am recording this clip, uh, which I do not want to record. But um, so this is what I use to record my gameplays, and I use uh, Logic Pro to record my voice, which I am recording right now. You can see my levels are going up and down here. You can see the waves here and all you have to do is go to preference uh, audio and my blue snowball is the input device so uh, it's currently recording right now and let me just give you guys an example here let's say um, I'm just gonna press play I'm just gonna go to record and let's see if I like this clip okay I would go here, click here. I would, and this is um, the list of recordings I did. So this is the recording I did right now. I can check it out. Okay, I, I like it, whatever. So if you like it, and like you like it like that, you can post it on YouTube right away, or you can take this video and put it into the editing software, import it to editing software. So which I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna export this clip right now. Export h.264 uh, which is perfect rendering I'm just gonna call it demo demo dead actually I'm gonna save it to my desktop it should take that long and it's right here demo dead so as soon as you get your demo dead see it's in very good quality let me see perfect quality uh, let me just press play there's not much going on here but uh, I'm gonna press X okay I like it so far I'm going to open iMovie, which is my editing software, and I am going to go to File, Import, Movies, and it was called, you could search, but I find it easier to just drag and drop, and it finds it immediately for you. I would do Import, shouldn't take that long, a couple seconds, maybe less than a, yeah, a couple seconds for sure, um, and I like to organize when I'm when I'm doing live commentaries or quad commentaries or whatever, I like to organize everything so I know if I'm running out of time, like if I'm running out of uh, memory, like I can see my waveforms very clearly here. My gameplay is recording. I can see everything clearly. So right now, it, everything's ready and it should be on your on the bottom of your clip. So you go down and it's right here, and you could go through it. You could go through your clips to see what whatever you can edit it whatever you want so I'm gonna do a new project here I'm gonna call it Dead Island and I'm gonna create it it's gonna create another one and I am just gonna click the clip drag and drop and from there you could add text you could add videos uh, you can add like um, music you can add anything to um, to this clip so dead island demo and I'm just going to 
increase it and I'm gonna add a transition at the beginning so if I look at the clip perfect so let's say if I like this uh, this clip I would go back to project library I would click to my project and then I would press control and click the clip and do you can publish straight up to YouTube but it usually never works so I would just do export movie uh, 720p is what I usually do and I'm just gonna do demo here export and while that's exporting you could multi-tax I don't know you can uh, you could record more you know you can record more gameplays there's a lot of things you could do while it's exporting so I um, we're just gonna wait for this to complete and this is how I do it guys like um, for quad commentaries you would basically go to your um, I don't know if you can show you right away you would go to your options right here just look at my screen here I'm just gonna put this a bit bigger uh, and you would lower your volumes so if you would have quad commentaries you would lower your volumes from your game so you can hear uh, the people you're playing with online clearly so um, and I would suggest you guys getting uh, turtle beaches because turtle beaches you can monitor what's going on you could actually hear whatever you hear in your uh, turtle beaches it's what you're gonna hear on the clip when the person on YouTube is gonna be watching I don't know if that makes sense what I just said but um, if you can hear uh, your uh, teammates voice voices clearly on your turtle beaches it's gonna it's gonna be perfect when you render it and when you uh, import it to uh, YouTube so right now my clip is done I'm just gonna press X here and my clip which was dead island demo which is right here and this is really good quality look at the quality on that so I am satisfied with the, the gameplay right there I'm gonna go on the internet go on YouTube go on my channel uh, check out my channel guys there's gonna be a lot more videos coming up if you want to do live commentaries um, hit me up gamer tags right there uh, I do this for fun as you guys know so I'm gonna go to upload right away as you as I said before you could search whatever if you're feeling if you're feeling lazy drag and drop choose and right there the video is being rendered you could uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, comment, rate, and sub, put your tags here, you know, you can put gaming, and that's how you do it, guys, and that's how I get my uh, very good quality videos on YouTube, right here, um, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick, like, 720p, like this is really good quality. Well, right now it's a bit, a bit dusty there, but let me show you guys another video. Like, look at the rendering on this. This is a very good rendering. Um, but uh, anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't explain briefly uh, how do you connect the Hophog HTTP VR, but I think it's pretty much simple how to connect everything. Um, the softwares I was using today was ITV, uh, Logic Pro. Uh, you don't have to use Logic Pro. Uh, Audacity is works perfectly with your uh, w whatever mic you're using. Um, you would need a separate mic to record your voice. Uh, when you record on the HDP VR, you can get anybody's voice, even if they're at England. They, they're not. They don't have to be necessarily beside you to be recording their voices. As long as you turn down the volume, the game volume, you can get their voices. And for your voice, which uh, you have to do it separately. So what I do here, while you record, if you want to do live commentaries, you would have to... You guys hear that? Okay. Like, uh, you would have to lower your volume completely shut and connect your... Um, USB microphone it can be any microphone but it has to be uh, separate like 
I have a blue snowball connecting USB from my computer and it's recording through um, Logic Pro. You guys can get Audacity. Audacity is free. Um, and uh, that's how you do your commentaries. So as soon as uh, this is done, I'm currently recording with a screen flow here. So you would take your clip, which is here, your editing, well, your, uh, your voice, and you would put it on that clip. So I'm going to stop this video right now. I hope you guys enjoy this commentary, uh, this tutorial to show you guys how I do my shit. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I will check you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Peace.